it's not really there, so you can't hand trap it. Ooh. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake, and today we are joined by Bragg from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Blackwings. Yes. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Bragg. Uh, all things pearly. I've got it all together. My um, Rainbow Salvations arrived just in the nick of time, ordered weeks ago. The nick of time for what? Because you didn't come to Locals. Yeah, I lost track of time and Ben hit me with the, oh, I'm going to go to Locals. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's 11.30. Right, Bragg still, sit, this, this was at 12. Bragg <laughs> still just on the lounge watching the NBA. And like, in, in my head, I was like, oh, no, nah, it's not worth the rush. Especially if the NBA is going to be good and it wasn't it was terrible and i should have gone ah i see yeah um so i'll make up for it on tuesday will you come on tuesday well i'm on earlies but it's a funny old life Mm. yeah that doesn't matter yeah it doesn't matter uh otherwise uh, i'm due to do a stock take of my collection i'm getting there i've got a uh, sort do a big sort and that's kind of daunting very daunting because mm. yeah, mm. you're all sorted yeah you're you're no. oh i know where my stuff is i've got two boxes that are sorted and then another sort of half big box and probably about 10 tins that aren't mm. but i know vaguely what's in the tins yeah. so if there's ever a time where i need specific cards i know oh okay it'll be in the tins yeah I did a big... Um, well, anyway, I'll talk about that in my week. Ben! I'm three Blackwing cards out of my binder short of just having 15 different Blackwing cards in my extra deck. So I need to find more Blackwing cards. That's the f- most abrupt and important thing in my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! this week. And he's Do you missed... have the level three that cheats out another, like, seven uh, copies? Probably somewhere. So for I'm all just... the Synchro Blacklings on the table, he does not have Armor Master. <laughs> Oh, yeah, true. That's going to be somewhere. I've got full Armor Master here. Yeah. My gold rare Armor Masters are somewhere. I don't uh, know. And then uh, the stabby one, armed. The really good one. Does the piercing. We'll find them. We'll find them all, and they'll be in this deck. Uh, point of context for this, uh, yes. me and Bragg and Jake and some of the other guys are building the Sign of Dragon decks. So, pure Black Wings, baby. Yeah. Ain't no Phantom Knights in it this time. So he's playing Black Wings, you're playing well, Black Rose? I'm yeah. also building the Yusei deck. And you're also building Stardust? Just, because I had all of this stuff, I was like, oh, I'll just put this together as well so we can have this to play. Yep. And I'll be building Red Dragon Archfiend because it's the only one of that entire show that I have any interest in whatsoever. <laughs> because he enjoys $30 coffees. Yeah. I haven't paid for it. And because dueling anything. doesn't make him feel alive. No. Because deep down, he's dead inside. Correct. And he's the master of faster. <laughs> <laughs> Do not speak on behalf so, of me. <laughs> in terms of the rest of my weekend, you, yeah, I won locals on Tuesday. I lost the final today. Um, again, I'm just cruising along with Cash Tira. Not a care in the world. Just winning games like it's nothing. It is incredibly small brain. It is incredibly simple. The way I am playing that deck, I'm just like, what if I just simplify the game state? And just play control. Not floodgate control. Except for the macro on floodgate. <laughs> yeah, except for macro on legs. Yeah, just very simple. Let's just put big monster on the board with the macros. Set a couple macro, maybe have a hand trap in hand, and just pass. And it's working really well. It's working really well. Do you think that changes in the upcoming format, though, Sorry. with a lot more people playing, like, Santa Claus and Kaijus and all that nonsense? Ah, it's fine. If I get Kaiju, I get Kaiju. I mean, because that's one card that we don't have. There's... So. no point trying to do extra deck lock or like big board lock you just play into more stuff just nice and simple control the board and we're good easy because yeah it isn't just like like i mean i play the kaijus and santa and pearly and obviously you attribute over big boy and then you have to push through that and try and establish a board state and if you've got at least two other if you have two other negates or um interruptions you can just then go oh well i'm gonna rebuild it all again exactly. <laughs> birth let's do it exactly that's why half part of the reason my decks are good you open like two hand traps and like you have an impermash it's just like 
You're probably not going to kill me. It's so hard to it, and like, yeah, and I guess that's why they are probably still the best, right? I mean, we're getting into a meta where that may change, but we'll see how we now go. We're getting into a a ban list. I mean, hopefully, like keep checking every morning. Jake really doesn't like Kashira. No, I don't. Really aggressively doesn't like Kashira because there's like nothing in my main deck that addresses it so, immediately. So main deck the. You got a main deck out. I am. He banished it off my fucking top deck. <laughs> I certainly did. <laughs> I was what? literally going to draw into a kaiju, and the cards he banished off the top were a copy of Branded Fusion, a kaiju, and Despian ad libitum. So I lost Playmaker, Out, and Recursion all in one action. One play. There we go. I went, and you banished top three cards of your deck. Jake went, I banished top three. I scoop. It's <laughs> great. Okay, yeah. well, I don't know what to tell you, Jacob. This is a branded problem. This is a branded problem. Pearlies well, wouldn't have this issue. Depends on what you manage. <laughs> 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 All three pearly. It happens. Um, yeah, but yeah, I guess my week. Um, I'm looking forward to being able to play New Support because my list is kind of shit and I've just put up with it for ages knowing that the new stuff was coming. I was hoping to get the new stuff today, but the guy who I'm getting it off has COVID, so I can't. Zero out of ten. Yeah, not ideal. <laughs> um, so yeah, once I get my hands on the new stuff, the deck changes quite a bit and does a lot more stuff. But with a lot more stuff comes a lot more one-offs, which becomes a problem in that deck when you have people banishing your shit. So we'll see how we go. Um, COVID continues dunking on branded. <laughs> mm. Yes. Yep. Um, other than that, I've been playing um, just casually on Master Duel. Basically, I just play enough games to tick the daily missions off, get my gems, and then I go away. Um, I noticed the new pack was dropping, so I was like... Soon, yes. Oh, I'll spend my gems on that, sure. Speaking of which, we start with Master Duel news. We do. So, we have further leaks of what's coming in the new sets. Um, but more importantly, we have Someone the leak of the right? next structure deck. Oh, what is it? Black Wings! The new stuff! Because it's so good. <laughs> Building Sino Dragon decks in Master Duel would be way easier, but expensive because heaps of them are random ultras, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, like, on. Let's, let's the bulk of that. the USA deck. I think oh, it would yeah. legitimately be cheaper to buy them in real life hmm. than to buy the gems in the game. <laughs> it's, yeah, not far off. Because, like, the USA deck will cost you 50 bucks. Yeah. And well, in that game, you're going to need a lot of ultra rares. <laughs> If the game was producing like more, like if you were getting more, not loot, but if you're getting prize packs and qualifications, like more regular qualifications, it could be worth that type of investment. Obviously, not for Stardust. Yeah. But we're just not in that space where I feel comfortable spending. I mean, soon we do have the WCQ qualifiers starting in a week and a half. Yeah. But we've had so many years without. I mean, well, not years. We've had. Just something more. Like, obviously we're getting it. But. Astounding that the only format that will ever see a WCQ of Tirelement is a Master Duel, Master Duel format. And even then, there's a lot of time between now and August, so even then, they might not. Yeah, it's going to be like Oh, yeah, they probably won't be around yeah. for Worlds. No, 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 no. I'm more getting that the actual oh, World the WCQ. Championship qualifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the OCG had it for WCQs. I mean, not, not for WCQs, sorry. Just for. They just had it for regionals. Exactly. And like us. YCSs. Like us. Yes. We have YCS. It was the best thing of YCS City. Oh, YCS, yes, but yeah, not... Not for like, WCS. Yeah, not for regionals, yeah. Oh, regional. Was it regional? It was regional. There was one Orange. or two. There yeah. was one or two regionals with it. But even then, it wasn't, like, super cracked by that point, I don't think. I don't think we had Rootalus by then, did we? Orange. Yeah. We had everything. There was full power. Oh, because Orange was after Sydney, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. All in all, not enough events on both sides. Yeah, it would be nice if we had more events. But also, I can understand why, considering they're doing, like, the last two years, effectively, of invites get to go. So I can understand them going, okay, we don't need as many invites. Yeah, we don't need to have 50 regionals this year. Just take it easy. Yeah. They still could have done top four with pass down, though. I feel like that would have been okay. I would have appreciated a pass down or two. <laughs> I suppose it does invite the possibility of having like a 50-man regional and having people in 37th get an invite. 
Sort. That is legitimately the case for most regionals, where like at least top twenty, the bulk of the people have their invites. Yep. That's like cool. And yep. it's weird that right. I've thought about this for a while now. Is that it's odd in some respects that some people will still go to a regional and still try their absolute hardest. Yeah. Just for mat and packs, yep. and maybe the deck box, like. It's a nice deck box. Like if people complained about the pricing. I don't understand spending that time and energy and like generally it's a long grueling day for most people anyway like spending that amount of energy and time in something for a prize that you feel is so minimal i i think they're not the same people i think the the people that are winning those constantly or going like that's yeah you're, you're 30 people i would say like your base 30 people of hey they don't care they love the game they like being in a room for six hours and sweating but or being sweated. This on. is about getting the other two hundred and seventy people in the room. <laughs> yeah, go get like, more people in there. That's it. It's like Seriously. a regional should be a bit bigger. It's like come on. At states it'll be like what? The it's top thirty two get invites from states? Uh no, I don't Last even, year it was sixty four. I don't even think it's that. Well to me uh, it's definitely top thirty two well, well, at minimum. And yeah. so interesting th oh well i suppose it's not really states it's oceanics but i did hear um some interesting news about oceanics cap it uh, 300 400 400 the venue capacity is 400 That's is good. it how many people qualified in the region so many uh well just alone from new zealand there was like 320 players qualified i think that's rough so if 80 more people have qualified this year that is cap but that, that's the other thing as well. New Zealand put a restriction on it anyway because not everyone was going to be able to travel. Like, I know I could Yeah, it put, it put a natural restriction on the amount of people who could attend. So really, it's only restrictive on the other side and obviously the New Zealand player base isn't nearly as big as the one in Australia. So yes. you're already fighting an uphill battle in terms of having the availability of the venue to be able to let all the people that have qualified because it's all well and good saying oh yeah if you've got your invite in the last two years you're more than welcome to come to oceanics we're gonna put it in another but also country. <laughs> yeah, yeah well that's the thing last year was like oh yeah um we're doing qualifications for the last two years but um if you can't happen to get new to new zealand on a saturday with like a month and a half's notice you can't come yes this year they've gone oh well we have it in this country um so to new zealand but you can try and make it you've got plenty of time but also if you're not one of the first 400 you're not coming yes also you can just register without having your invite yes you can just register and be like i'm gonna get my invite it was tempting but then also the player cap on our states that is also caused there. an issue so like, it was what is it 120 uh they, no it was 100 it'll probably end up being 180 have, by the time that they let extra people in they seem to have lifted it also the move but they can physically oh. only fit about 140 people in that room they, they, 140 people in that room. They fit 120 at last year's states. That's still squashy. It's gonna be tight. Like, if you told me 40 people in that room, I wouldn't go. <laughs> well, now you're putting restrictions on yourself. Like, it's all well and good saying, oh, states can only have 100 people, I'm not gonna go. But if you see 41 people in a room, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> that room. Yeah. That room. Yeah. That room's gonna get rough. It's gonna be not ideal. Um, but yeah. They're looking... gonna take the shelves out yeah yeah no, it really no, has to come out of that they put them? so they in the just the back section they fit 140 yeah yeah the and front so, section you could fit another 30 players yeah so they they're gonna have to get all that shit out of there well if that you're going happening. if you're pushing the cap to like 180 yeah yes yeah. is yeah. it still sold out um, well, people have been getting their thing saying that they're now allowed, but whether that's a case of, oh, we decide to let 20 extra people in, or whether a bunch of people are dropped out, difficult to say without inside knowledge. Yeah. Um, but I moving back to Master Duel briefly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, wait, no, moving back to Master Duel briefly. You ain't got this fucking thing. No, 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 no. So I have played Prank Kids in yep. the Attribute Festival. Mm. Yes. In each art, only one Prank Kid is wearing his goggles. Uh huh. Yeah, so this guy's got his goggles, this guy's got his goggles, this guy's got his goggles, and this guy's got his goggles. Okay. Are they all the same prank kid? No. So is this the safe prank kid? Oh, hold on. And as he transforms through each of the forms... So... Well, other than the goggles, they share almost identical looks. Actually, no, they don't, because long hair, medium hair, long hair that's hair. down, Short they're all the same. Look at their faces. Uh, but he's got, like, a terrible hairline. 
Um, he's a mohawk. Hmm? He's got a fire yeah, mohawk. How dare you? This guy's got a rock ponytail. No, it's back at the moment. This guy and this guy have the same hairstyle. I should try that hairstyle. The rocks. Yeah, anyway, um, I'm not all that well versed <laughs> on uh, Frankie and Law. Um, but yeah, uh, lead cards from the new pack. We talked about them briefly last week, but we have got a bunch more that have been confirmed. So we're getting all of the goatee card. Well, not all the goatee oh. cards, sorry. All of the first run of the goatee cards, as well as the Moray of Avarice. Um, so that'll be an interesting little draw card. Andrew rejoices. Uh, we're getting the Naturia support. And we've got the uh, Plunder Patrol um, Synchro. That's in there as well. I in that. Oh, sorry. I'll take that back. We are getting both um, the first and second run of the Goatee support. So we're getting huh. full Goatee ah, okay. all straight away. I feel away. like that's not an issue. The, no, no. The other the kid. Size. Salad kid. Josh rejoices. He doesn't yes. play Master Duel, and also he never played that deck. Goatee? He insisted he was going to play it, and he never did. Oh, he actually Stand, never, never standard did. Standard Josh thing. He uh, talks about playing a lot of things and never plays any of them. Yes. Oh, I thought he at least played it online. No. Well, he might, ah, have, he gone, have. He might have a master duel. But I don't care about that. I mean, not master duel, the other well, one. he couldn't have a master duel. He might have dueled with his friends. Sorry, dueling with friends. <laughs> yes, he might have. Well, actually, no, that's not possible. He doesn't have friends. Yeah, he has if a couple. If you look in the right place. Where his friends? Come on, now. There's websites you can go to and meet friends. <laughs> <laughs> Near you? Near me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have fun here. Um, I'm just coming if there's any other things no um yeah so i think it's next thursday or friday the next pack actually comes out um so You're wrong it's tuesday is it tuesday it's the 10th i don't know what day that is what is today just wednesday uh, the it is the 8th of may at three in the morning there we go Jake just didn't answer my question. He just jumped to the gun. To the gun? Yes. <laughs> to the wall! <laughs> I'm not... No. Um, so, uh, not a lot of other news going on this week. Um, I did take a quick look at the most recent uh, Road of the King uh, to have a look at what's going on in the OCG. Oh, yeah, their, their format got messy. Yeah, it's a bit all over the place. Yeah, so, <laughs> Tyrone came back. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> So Oops. from highest to lowest, we start with Pearly at 13.5. We've got Mathmech at 12.6. Uh, Branded at 8.1. Terrellman 7.2. Runic 6.3. Labyrinth 5.4. Uh, Vanquish Soul 5.4. Castira 4.5. Yeah. Unchained 3.6. And Other at 33.3. Yeah, which includes... Uh, one was a dino deck. One. Oh yeah, well, wow, that's a good point. Um, in the Other as well, you've got like Super Heavy running around with Grass... Older guys, Texas and stuff. One got a hit from that. I was going to say, what did they address? To dropped off so harshly. Well, they're still kicking. Unless maybe people have just moved to hard countering it. Yeah, just roll it. Roll one McCunko! I want that list. <laughs> find oh. it. Find it back. <laughs> yeah, how hard those are to find. I was reading it through so well. the um, the branded one specifically, or one of the branded descriptions, and it's like, um, he versed four pearly players and beat them all. Um, purely because he opened up enough hand traps to stop them making X Pearly Noir, um, because he doesn't main deck, or, or rather, he didn't see any interruptions if they had gotten to it, because he did apparently didn't draw his Xyz on core all day. Oh, okay. I like the Twitter, um, the Twitter descriptions of what they did. It's like, oh, I get like, where, and one of them's been, this deck sucks. I got lucky. I will not be playing it next week. <laughs> It's important to read the descriptions. The same as like um, when people are doing profiles as well. It's one thing to just like skip through and take screenshots of all the cards, but sometimes they'll explain, "Oh, I wouldn't actually play this card. X amount of this card, or yeah, um, I'd be this playing this wrong. instead of that." Um, yeah. So maximize top tip. on your Blackwing cards. Only play cards from the anime, <laughs> <laughs> or don't do that. Yeah, um, the lack of dis the lack of dinosaurs is a little bit interesting because they, I, they, I, they, they have, they have how much, yeah i was gonna say how much stuff is actually been hit in they the have OV at one and maybe fossil league at one uh, didn't they get oh am i thinking master ball i don't know they have i'm fairly sure they've definitely been hit harder than here and uh, it's consistency cards too yeah they might have one misc one ov which would make that very difficult yeah and i'm still concerned about math mac i don't want that deck to exist what if math mac gets hit on the ban list what if they limit circular? Huh. That yeah. would be low-key annoying. Why? It's just a good cyber support card. 
Yeah, good. Get Mass Effect Circular. Burn it. Burn it. Yeah. It doesn't need to be here. Well, I could just do something dumb like limit sign-out mining. I could see them doing that. <laughs> so dumb. They'd, they'd be like, sign-out mining to one. Salamander Great Circle to three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, um, it, we haven't seen it announced, and I'm surprised they didn't lead with it when they were doing it, but very soon we're going to find out what the Salamander Great support is that they're releasing in the... Um, going to be garbage. ...more fire. It... The only thing that leads me to believe that it is garbage is the fact that they're doing the, the rank 4 Xyz as one of the quarter century rares. I feel like it's just going to be really geared towards making that card yes. better. Which is not what that deck needs. No. But there's a bunch of cards in the anime as well that never got seen. Apparently there's another field spell that lets them draw cards and like Josh is again super hyped for that. But it's not searchable off. Correct. It's not exactly. Celebrate Great Sanctuary. Although they could do... They have done in this the past... This card is always called Salamander Sanctuary. Yeah, they have done a couple of those in the past where they've just made them um, slightly better in the TCG than... Oh, in the normal card game, rather, than what they have in the anime. Yeah. yeah. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, yeah, as I said, not a lot of news at the moment. We did get a new card having been released, or rather the rest of the details of the new card been released. Uh, we have the full detail of what the dandy white lion does. Um, I hope you're all very excited. Uh, so I'll let you read this one. Yeah, so level 3, earth plant effect monster, attack and defense both 300. Uh, you can only use this card's effect once per turn, and during the turn you activate this effect, you cannot special summon from the extra deck. Uh, this card is sent from hand or field to the graveyard. You can special summon three white fluff tokens, uh, wind level 1, zero attack and defense, in defense position. So, I yeah. love... Mm. I was going to say, in the OCG, you just play it for Terrell element when they mill you. <laughs> field, I mean, field, is... field of hand? Field or hand, yes. Ah, uh, field or hand? Yeah. Sucks. So, yeah, it's like, it is... You so... can play it in tier. In tier, yeah. Like... Hope that your one haveness triggers and that you can mill it and summon some tokens. <laughs> no, no, no. Again, hand or field. Oh, yeah, that's bad. That that sneaky, that sneaky, that line. Sure, the, don't, you can't summon from your extra deck. That's there. Nerf. I get it. Danny Lion, weird. You get Dark World Dealings. Oh yeah. Then what do you do? You summon three tokens, and then when you start your turn, yeah, you then they can't. Tokens. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, and then that restriction's gone. And yeah, just the hand. Like, beat Dark World. Well, can can Dark World beat through three defense tokens? No, no. Like on your <laughs> turn, can you make something with those three tokens? Are they level one, level two? They're level ones. You could try and out Dark World with just those three tokens. You could force everything on the board. If Dark World ever becomes like a really good deck, there's a million better cards you could play better than this. There is, yeah. But it's something else you could play. Uh, I believe they're Wind. Yeah, Wind you level make, one. Oh my make god. Make the Relinquish try and steal something. Yep. Go into something else, try and do something else. Doesn't Relinquish need an effect? If it does, too bad. We've lost. <laughs> make Unicorn for something. Let's have a quick. Where's my look dick? At Anima. Uh, Anima. Uh, one level one monster. Except, except the token. token. <laughs> <laughs> could have just said effect monster. No, because what if I want to summon a level 1 vanilla from the deck? Thousand Eyes Idol should be able to summon Anima. Okay, that's valid. Um, another little I'm sneaky thing... I'm sure that's what I was thinking of. Another little sneaky thing I didn't notice on the first uh, read-through I had of this particular article because I saw that um, it had that heavy restriction and I was done with it. Um, they also seem to have a lottery system for a V-Jump Anniversary Century selection pack that you can get. Um, so you have to pay an application fee and <laughs> make them um, buy their website and whatnot. It seems that you get these three cards. I don't know if they're guaranteed or if they're just like a thing that you can get in the pack. But you've got uh, Slife of the Sky Dragon in quarter century rare. You've got uh, Foolish uh, Burial in the international artwork, which basically means you don't get the cross, you get like the normal grave. Um, and you get uh, Pot of Avarice printed in secret rare for the first time for them. Huh. So, when does this get drawn? Uh, I don't know if it has a Did date. Did they just miss the print? It's also the it does shit not have a date. For, it, is it the shit art for? It's, like it's the movie art. It's I fucking not, hate that art. It's not a terrible it's art. It's the worst art. Mm. Did they just miss the print? Yeah, but it's the worst art. Print did the the. Did they just miss the print 
run of the magazine to sneak these promos in. So then it's like, it's a lottery! <laughs> I reckon that they've ordered it and they said, okay, we need 10,000 of these to be able to go out to our subscribers. And someone's just missed like two zeros. So there's only like 100 packs. <laughs> and yeah. they go, oh shit. <laughs> Real talk. Can I order this card? Uh, yeah, do I... you need a V-Jump subscription already? I don't know. Buy yeah, it. and then... Buy it. Mm. Get sent to my hotel. And when I get there, pick it up. If you book at a super bougie hotel, you might be able to get the concierge to just, like, steal you one. I had this steal over there before. To go to the shops and nick it? Yeah. Okay. At that point, it becomes their crime, not yours. Exactly. Have I committed an international crime? conspiracy by mentioning it on the podcast perhaps <laughs> intent to defraud uh, <laughs> wouldn't be the first international crime i've committed <laughs> apologies to the french <laughs> yeah they deserve it though they were too busy writing they never noticed um <laughs> look i could have just been more blunt but they would have surrendered anyway <laughs> Why have we attacked the French? <laughs> Everyone attacks the French, Jake. It's true. It's very true. Okay. Just right there. Like... Yeah. Um, so, before we get into questions, because, as I said, not a lot going on with the um, the news as such, um, one thing that I saw the other day, and I brought it up in the group chat, is um, just the, the noticing of other markets within the sort of general market that we work within like we obviously notice like the meta market of like oh yeah people are playing x amount of um hand traps now so they're going up in price mm. um there's more availability of starlights they go down in price and all that kind of thing the thing that i noticed because of a video that came up by another youtuber is um that the secondary market for misprints has been widely affected in the last sort of 18 to 24 months because of the terrible print quality that yes. Konami has oh, so it's like bottomed out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, because yeah. misprints are becoming worthless. Because the, they used to, it pretty much started with those gold rares that they did, and there was like mad Watches. chunks of like gold, and like the boxes looked like they'd, they'd look like I'd drawn them. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it had the sides with it, full gold. It's, this stems from COVID when they had to change the warehouse that produced them. So I don't understand why they haven't changed back though. It's probably cheaper. So instead of Yu-Gi-Oh product being done by... So they used to have a warehouse that did the starter decks mm -hmm. and a warehouse that did packs. Yeah. Starter deck warehouse does everything now. Surely now we've gotten to a point... Like, I understand it's probably cheaper, but at the same time, if your product quality is down, you sort of need to address it. And now that it's profits post up. Profits are probably up, yes. That's so cringe. Because they are also increasing the MRC, MSRP of, car, of packs too. Mm. That's so dumb. Who it's care so dumb. about quality? It's so bad. Yeah, it is. It's really bad. I could and be at worse. least if we if we got like the fucking like starlight dumps that the fucking Americans did, then I probably wouldn't complain as much. <laughs> but it just seems to be them. They got the secret Pharaoh rares in the uh Magnificent Maven's box instead of the Ultras, which they weren't supposed to. It seems every set or two they get like a case that is just all Starlights, Oops. which is just effectively printing money. Um, the Euro sets always seem to have some sort of text error because some monkey on the computer just didn't look at the translation properly. They're like, oh yeah, this Despian card will just search one card. Okay. Hear me out, Jake. Don't get so uppity at the Belgian dude. We don't know he's Belgian. So, yeah, we do know he's a Belgian. Just because he works in Belgium does not mean he's Belgian. Uh, well, he doesn't likely speak amazing English. The man with a um, um, Belgian working visa. So you're asking a man who's let's let's just work on the assumption this guy's Belgian. You're asking this Belgian man to translate something that's been translated from Japanese to English, then he needs to translate it into Belgian. Oh, no, he's, he's going from Japanese to Belgian to English. Mm. The thing is... Do they speak German in Belgium? I don't know what they speak. I've, oh, no, speak... I looked this up for our murder mystery night. They speak French. Well, that's worse. 
Yeah, so they, this guy has translated We're attacking the French again, sorry. Japanese <laughs> to French to English, whereas the guy that's in Texas just has to go from Japanese to English. But the thing is, if the person is not qualified enough to be able to do the job, they shouldn't be doing the job. Do you reckon they hired a translator, or do you reckon they just promoted someone that's in the warehouse? 100% they just promoted someone in the warehouse. Yeah. Because I reckon they didn't want to have to pay the fee in order to search for someone who was properly qualified to do the job. So they've picked Sven over on the pack floor yeah. and been like, would you like to do the translating of the cards? Are we? <laughs> so dumb. Dutch is so dumb. dumb. In before Dutch as well. In the comments. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. 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 I like gold. <laughs> It was always going to be maximum, wasn't <laughs> that it? Was it? <laughs> that was it. No, 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 no. So the guy, he gets the maximum gold stuff. And he comes yeah, in, he's yeah. Like, I like, like gold. gold. <laughs> Just pause it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, yeah, well, right. Can be. So I, stupid. I don't know how you get back to a quality assured, like assured product release, though. I just don't, I don't see it. Like, unless if another vendor like uh, another vendor that also has all the printing presses comes and goes oh we'll do it for cheaper and we're better yeah. I, I just don't see it yeah it's just and not also, something you can yeah it's just not it's just not the game for it i guess no kevin should give it up hear me out next question well <laughs> this was the first <laughs> we've not even had a question yet this was a question that was me Jake. trying to Jake give more content. I hope he doesn't choose the next, I hope he doesn't choose this question first, but we'll find out. Our first question comes to us from Jesse, which is down in the Discord below. Oh yes, Discord I below. forgot. Yes. I forgot my entrance. Uh, yes, so if you went to where we do have a Discord link, will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. So our first question comes to us from Jesse, which I forgot last week. Apologies. Uh, unban one card to make a deck playable specifically in this format. Accidentally deleted this question. The mail um, wouldn't pick Orcus because macro sucks. Yes. He also said Barry's statue was cheating. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so that, no. Again, we're going back to this. That came across very French. Surely there's oh. a busted card that could make Flunder that isn't Barrier. Surely there's another card on that ban list. <laughs> Vanity's Emptiness. <laughs> yes, there is a card. <laughs> it's Vanity's Emptiness. I miss Vanity's. Who needs to block special summoning of just... We, like only winds you can summon when you can block all the specials. Vanity's got banned in Master Duel because of Thunder is here. I don't think we ever had it in Master Duel. No, we had it in Master Duel. Yeah. Did we? I remember it in the very beginning, but I don't remember what got it banned. Yeah, I don't remember when it was banned. I remember playing it in something. It was probably. I played it in Eldritch. Yeah. Anyway. Um, hmm. Must another... be banned. Huh. Um. I mean. Metamorphosis for the Neo uh, Bubble Man decks. <laughs> so, so someone mentioned this in a video, and I can't remember why. Why is Neo Bubble Man not playable? Because you have to discard Metamorphosis to summon it. He's referencing the TikTok I hate. Oh, we have a TikTok as well. Um, oh yeah, for reasons um, Brad can explain, we have a TikTok now. Oh, we just have a TikTok. Like, we had one. It wasn't doing anything. If you now, watch it enough, you might fuck that cat. <laughs> He said TikTok, not early fans. <laughs> it transitions. It's, you yeah, get famous from one, it's just you a move together. It's just a funnel. Exactly. <laughs> I'm still not there, even for TikTok fans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, any rank four turbo deck can get Shockmaster. Please no. Redox. This thing will redox. Well, we, we... I think we've all said that redox is likely to come back this ban list, right? No, blaster. Sorry, I did that last time too. I but all redox is is a monster reborn. We have monster reborn. We could also have redox. Yeah. And it all monster decks. reborn. We don't like redox for earth decks. I should play it in pearly. It works like that, yeah. You can discard it in an earth monster reborn. Mm. Yeah, mm. earth or a drake. We kind of have that already at Fermoners. Like, Vernisilves do that anyway. They do. Mm. But they love and they do, Earth. And they do more. 
They look they good. They draw work. you cards. They foolish burial. They do all kinds of things. Actually, discard it's, redox um, in six of every samurai. Sure. Um, just briefly as well. Um, when I was doing the Subterra um, solo mode the other day, they had Subterra Vernasil. It was actually pretty solid. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. That's the only Because I just that. assumed the Behemoths would have different attributes. No, all worth. Okay. I wonder if that's worth playing because then you could play, you could get to know some of the sub terror cards without being a complete degenerate uh, uh, bad person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being, I'm being nice off this one. Got to go good on the monetization. Get yeah, something goes demonetized last week. Don't yeah. know what it was. Nothing to do with. Well, we've me. already mentioned yeah. um, <laughs> sexual relations with the cat, so this will be a good litmus test. As no, for what I gets mentioned us. that it's like half an hour in at this point. Something happened in the first five minutes of that video. Oh, is that the only time that it happens? Yeah, that's when it gets reviewed. Okay. Huh. Well, so I'm all right to swear again? No, yep. Uh What else? Like, there's a couple of weird ones. Obviously, I mean, is title back yet? I don't remember. No. It's we, we, literally we asked only Tempest. Week, didn't we? we were talking about them briefly, yeah. So literally Tempest is the only one that's back. Just give us back the three dragon rolls. Can we each choose a dragon roll? And then we just get the three back? I mean, I don't think it's like a request as such. It's more a wish list. We can say them. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. What if we get Dandelion back? <laughs> yeah, let's let's release this new one that's absolutely awful just to highlight how good the first one was. <laughs> I have an ulti Dandelion. I want to use it. What did I have in a nice rarity? Oh, um, it's not the highest rarity, mind you, but I've got a secret glow bulb that looks very nice. I realised earlier that I don't have an ultimate rare black wing dragon. I thought I did. Got yeah. Starlight, they're like $100. No, we had this discussion earlier today, remember? They're $100 US. But there's, like, cheapest ones in Australia is like 280 Sure, there's a store would do one for cheap. Because I'm sure the store has like five. The store has an ulti. And it looks a little beat. I might buy it. Uh, we're, we're also not saying Colossus for a uh, reason. Yes. <laughs> Next question. We're we moving on? Okay. Grass is greener! Oh, please no. Uh, that's a woman red reboot maybe Far away. for any decks <laughs> red reboot make my no trap deck good hey, oh, can, oh, I trade. really want that card back actually red reboot it's not archetypal I just want it for your people that's a license lose not in branded <laughs> someone flips d barrier you red reboot and you play anyway <laughs> uh, sorry there's a lot of non questions I'm trying to sift. Yeah. Through. Ah, I saw my face. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Someone posted a photo of you. I swear there was a question before was that. Paul Pelican posted a photo. Oh, wait, no, no, that was that, that was, was there since and since. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was saying, who do you like? Julie um, Lewis? which nothing ever came of me saying I don't want to play another game with Lachlan again. I'm going to repeat the claim and see if it gets to him. <laughs> It'll never get to him. Someone Actually, would have to message him. Oh, um. <laughs> It's funny because in the reply to that, it's like picking one um, team member or associate to play with for a year. Yeah. He's picked you because uh, he hates versing everyone else. Who, Lachlan? Yeah. 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 And I hate versing him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what that says, but we move. So, uh, looks like our first question comes to us from Bragg. Yeah. Um, should Chaos Sorcerer get a retrain that's not a light ray? BLS has had a bunch. Um, Armageddon. BLS is a little bit different though because it started as a ritual monster and it's been support that's like loosely related to that for the most part. Like the link's somewhat related to it, the um, new few, no, new rituals. Like the Envoy at the beginning was a little bit left field, if honest, if you're honest. But Envoy at the end... He he's had he a couple. One. Yeah, he got one. So I want and I I want a pendulum one too. <laughs> uh, he could, wants it. <laughs> they could do an Xyz. An Xyz would be interesting. Yeah, like the Chaos Dragon got the pendulum, so why not give him the pendulum? I don't know, just diversify a little bit because um, BLS got a link. Yeah, and they've got rituals. The Chaos Emperor Dragon got the pendulum. Um, what was the other one I was thinking of? So Chaos is getting a fusion. Now, there was one I was thinking of that had a fusion. 
I can't remember what's going with who, this. Yeah, who got a fusion? But yeah, I mean, an XE would be kind of cool. You could just do like a light level four and a dark level four. And, and then yeah, it's interesting that you pick yeah. the and easiest Spanish ones one. to do. <laughs> well, it has to be chaos. But what if you could XE summon it by returning the materials back to the field from Grave? You just want to do chaos summoning. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making up my own mechanic here. Oh, look. XE's monsters that XE is using the graveyard. And this was in reply as well. It's like, we've got all this nostalgia bait for BLS that we never owned because the original BLS was like really annoying to get and then the other one was a secret. Uh, no, it was the Ultra. The um, end of Envoy of the End was a secret. Um, so we all had ca- Common Chaos Sorcerer. So all yes. the cut with the car we played as a kid, all the... Doesn't have any nostalgia bait. This is the one we played. Hear me out. That cheap one. It could. You could. But anyway, uh, next question comes to us from Matthew Mack. Uh, I don't think it's his first comment. Uh, what is the worst Yu-Gi-Oh take you have ever heard? <laughs> you can't say anything Ben has ever said. <laughs> <laughs> My takes are amazing. <laughs> My takes are just so enlightened that people aren't prepared for them. I've got no problems with his takes. Exactly. Why do you have a problem with my takes, Matthew Mack? I welcomed you to the comment section. And now here we are. To scrap. <laughs> um, um, what was one of the worst takes I've ever heard? I mean, Josh has a lot of terrible takes. Yes. Yes. I can't yes. remember any of them, but I remember most things that he says. It's just like, you are so unbelievably wrong. Megalith Fool is going to be the best card in the year. There was a brief time at Shine, but even then, he didn't play it. Yes, he did. <laughs> There's two Yugi Tubers that come to mind with the bad takes. One of them is still quite prominent, the other one completely fell off. So, that's neither here nor there. I'm fairly sure the reason I don't acknowledge the existence of... Um, I've forgotten his existence. I don't know. MBT? No, 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 Team APS? It's going to be amazing. Oh, everything Team APS says is only a terrible take. Oh, I did say that Paul's leaving APS. Oh, why's Paul leaving? Uh, he's quitting Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh. That's actually sad. There's a little bit of news. Coward. Where are you going, Paul? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? There's... In the very small bit I watched, because it was like a three-minute video, I probably could have spent the three minutes to watch it, but I was like... I've seen what I need to see at this point. Um, I think he's just said that he's not as keen at this stage of his life to spend as much time and money on the game as he once was. But I watched a video of theirs like a few months ago where they were like, we only play casual Yu-Gi-Oh now. It's like, why would you not just keep playing casual Yu-Gi-Oh with your friends and on the camera? It's, yeah. a, it's a casual Yu-Gi-Oh player channel. You don't need to spend money on the game. Mm. Like the cards that you want already exist just don't buy the meta shit that comes out done simples um no I can't remember the guy who has the terrible takes that I stopped acknowledging he had like a really really shit take and I was like I'm out not a good not do you a remember good, what take it was about nope you what, it no. was years ago it's like 2018 this has been a deep thought questions podcast so I apologise for us being in deep thought <laughs> speaking of which <laughs> deep thought <laughs> and any you any you YouTuber, I've said this on the pod before. That says X Y Z. If I hear that, if, if I hear that in a take, okay. I'm, like, I'm out. We only here. worry about synchros, bro. Yeah. We're only playing synchros. Yeah, all hell synchros. Yeah, we're in. No, it's, it's still Domino City, isn't it? Or no? It's New Domino City. Yeah, New, New Domino City. Yeah, yeah. New Domino City. It's on top of the remains of the old Domino City. Yeah. Oh, and so they've done a Futurama. It's just New New York. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but they still have slums that are over there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, New York still existed in New New York. New New York. It was underneath, under the ground. No, but they're over okay. there. They're they're on Long Island, and we laugh at them. Oh, okay. And well, we're they, racist. Well, to they them. didn't want. Well, they didn't want to see the mutants and things that live in New York, so they put them under the ground. Yes. Yes. Uh, Futurama law for you there. Um, yes. Um, yeah, I can't think of any one person that has like any specific bad takes other than Josh. Um, but <laughs> um, similarly to you, um, the amount of times that MBT, I don't know if it's on purpose or if he does it like yeah. semi-intentionally or whatever, 
mispronounces cards. He also has just shit house takes. Yeah, his take on like it's very niche, but his take on Ghost Trick was really bad. It was just um, it's good. It was just UDF Turbo. Anyway, I can't remember who my worst take person was and what his take was. It was so bad, I just deleted him from my memory. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Next question. Next question is from 6 r 6 When getting a massage for relaxation, what is the preferred style and pressure? Uh, if you were interested, he likes a good firm Thai massage where they get the elbows involved and walk on your back. I had a hope stone massage once. That was nice. I that's, that's my, my answer. that's my preference as well. Um, if like I got one the other day, as I mentioned in the Discord before, because I've had this morning. Hmm? I didn't even get one this morning. No, I ended up getting one um, on my lunch break on Friday. Oh. Um, so yeah, uh, I had one on Friday. It wasn't the best massage I ever had, but it did alleviate some of my problems at least until this morning, where I probably slept fucked again, and now my neck's a bit broken. Um, but yeah, when I have more time to sort of book in a massage i like to go for the hot stone massages if you're unfamiliar they heat up a bunch of rocks uh some of them get put at like your lower back and your neck and stuff and then they'll use the other ones with oil and like use them to massage you as they go along we need to bring back block dragons so that they can do that easier giant lego brick no but like if whilst giving you the massage they had the ability to search three more rocks if someone rubbed my body with a lego brick i think i would kill them no no, they don't use what a prude (laughs) the block dragon goes to the graveyard they just then get three more rocks to massage you with where's the graveyard in the massage parlor the the basket (laughs) next to where where they put the paper towel and shit i don't know this is the problem ben you don't know (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay fine and then it has I... to be on the field first you can't just put it in the bin and search three so at that... some stage a lego brick has to touch my body i'm changing my answer it's not the little bin next to the thing it's in your butt yeah it's gonna say and i'm bringing <laughs> macrocosmos <laughs> if anything they need pebble dog because pebble dog comes back okay uh mm. brag preference on massage there's a lot to read into that one. Um, you know, I've never been a massage man. I've been more of a, I'll find someone who's taller and stronger than me and to throw me around like a rag doll. Thanks a lot. That's abuse. No, it's not. It <laughs> loosens your back up real good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm looking for. And I haven't had it in a while, because... You should treat yourself to a massage. Yeah. From a fucking grizzly bear. Yeah. <laughs> How am I going to play it for my pearly cards? Why are your massages so violent? Yeah. <laughs> Just fucking get the nails in. <laughs> actually, one type of massage I actually really want to try is the, the cupping. <laughs> Again, if you're unfamiliar, um, they get like um, little suction cups and they like heat them up so that it Jake, pulls the you, skin you, through. You don't have enough meat on your bones. Yeah. I mean, my sister gets it and she's just as skinny as I am. She doesn't need it. Don't know what that means. Um, but anyway, apparently I can't have that until I'm fatter. Ben has banned me. Yes. Discriminate. Yeah, it it's just not fat. necessary. It doesn't do anything. Doesn't it? Doesn't it do circulation stuff? Yeah. I'm fairly sure it's all mumbo jumbo. <laughs> Something that I thought was mumbo jumbo until I started getting it. Acupuncture. Okay. Ac- so, <laughs> just to unpack that little segment there. No, don't get that. It's all bullshit. Speaking of bullshit that isn't bullshit, I got acupuncture. No, like genuinely. <laughs> How about you get cupping and then talk no, about I'll it? I'll die if I get cupping. Um, I like the little mats that you can stand on. Like they just like the little stabby things. Much. It's a very similar theory. I'm to beginning to think that you're a sadist. <laughs> you just like pain. <laughs> Don't tell you like what, it. next week Makes me feel we alive. all get foot massage machines and we'll sit on the podcast oh. with our foot rub machines on how about I be the foot rub machine <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming it still shocked me <laughs> next question Jake next question is again from Six Arts X. Uh, what are you doing for your mother slash special person this mother's day only remembered it's mother's day yesterday 
I've been thinking about it for a while. Um, the issue with my mother is that the only things she's interested in are red flavors of lollies and golf. Uh, so there's a limited range. Uh, I don't like buying golf stuff for her because I don't like enabling her habit. Um, <laughs> Hear me out, Jake. Red gummy golf balls. It's a very niche thing. I'm fairly sure it also doesn't exist. You could Probably. Inv- you could invent it. Do you know what does exist, though? And I saw it around Christmas and I was going to get it for her, but then we ended up getting her tickets to, um, I think it was Moulin Rouge, and they were ruinously expensive, so I didn't bother. Um I saw at a uh, shop in Wollongong, they've got um, like the glass house candles, the expensive bougie candles. Um, glass house is a brand. Continue, um, continue. But they have a, a scent of that candle that is red frogs. Ugh. Speaking of scents, Josh had... Zero uh, scents. No, Josh... <laughs> Josh had Maccas the other day. Mm-hmm. I almost vomited to the smell. Sometimes Macca's does not smell great. I was just like, this is disgusting. I never want to see McDonald's ever again. You could get the Raspberry Twisties. I saw those at 7-Eleven. What the fuck are those? They're so cursed. Because they straight out taste like a red frog sort of thing. Like on the first Have hit. you seen this? International viewers be like, the fuck uh, are Twisties are like a... Uh, do they exist in this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've got the... Che- like they're, they're cheese puff adjacent. Yeah, they're like yeah. They're similar to like a, a Cheeto, but yeah. a little bit more condensed. They're not as airy, and they're twisted. Yeah. yeah. So, um, being um, Australian, we didn't come up with a clever name. They're just called twisties. How do so, they do that? So they remove all the cheese flavoring and replace <laughs> it with raspberry. How do they twist it? <laughs> the way you ask that, how do they do that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How do they twist it? How it's batter, and they just. There's a fucking person that's... Yeah, it's well, probably the same person that's responsible for the translations on the fucking cards. Three. I don't oh, have time Despia. to work out what that Luba does. Oh, then they're like frying or something after that, and then that's yeah. what airs them out. Okay, gotcha. Um, hmm. But yeah, with the... Uh, it's just raspberry flavouring said cheese. It is uncomfortable. I saw them the other day, and I was like, I don't know what Devil Spawn inv- invented this, but they should be killed. I wonder if I bought them yes. home. They'll be old though. They'll be stale. Stale raspberry twisties. Really? Stale twisties are also not a thing. They, they make me sad. And for my mum, I don't think she's going to watch this. She watched the um, the TikTok, which is such a mum thing to do. I saw you on TikTok, son. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I saw you on the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was on the TikTok. I go take her to the movies. Just after I got off of the Facebook. <laughs> Think you're taking to the movies. The problem is she lives six hours away. Mm. I thought she lives more than six hours away. Six hours total travel time? Yeah, six hours total travel time. Okay. Because Wagga. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, it's probably close to seven or eight, isn't it? No, I, th- I think it's actually probably close to five. Return? Ah, oh, return. Oh, fuck no. Yeah, absolutely not. Fuck no. Anyway, next question, Jake. Our last question. Give me comes... some suggestions of what I should give my mum for Mother's Day. Yeah, it's good call. Cool. Yeah, is your mum like a typical mum? Does she would she be satisfied with like flowers and stuff? Yeah, but I don't like giving flowers. You don't like giving flowers? I don't like giving gifts that can disappear. Yeah, I'm. I've always been of that opinion, but then I've just had to be like sat down and like just that. I want flowers. I don't care. Stop your gimmicks. I'm like, okay. I'll get flowers, but I disagree. No. This doesn't work. Continue, Jake. Continue. Last question is from Jesse. Some jockeys, maybe. Uh, He's been playing the Pokemon TCG for a few weeks. Um, So, yeah. uh, This will probably be more so for Bragg. Uh, What do the Pokemon boys think about Gardevoir with Shadow Rider? Underworld Door means you draw two... uh, Draw your whole deck turn two. Ah. I think it's cute, but also I think Josh thinks it's cute, so therefore take oh, it, it must with be a grain. Bad. Yeah, yes. take it. Yeah. Horrendous takes, <laughs> especially <laughs> in that kind of game. Take it with a grain of salt. He likes his Calyrexes as well. Um, Maybe like, yeah, it's, that actually... the best deck in the game. Proceeds to walk into a tier zero event and lose. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean this is the same as him with the fucking player of the year, right? He was talking about Mathmech like it was going to be the best deck in the world, and yep, then he ran demolished. into fucking bestials and died. Yes. 
Oh, and that was post um, Shufflers as well, yeah? Yes. Yeah. He just thought he was going to have extenders for days and the Shufflers weren't going to matter and he couldn't do anything. He was so mistaken. No, I mean, dropped out immediately. I even said to Ben earlier, I'm tempted to put just um, the two of the Shufflers in. Oh, I need to discard something and may as well be something or stop Mac Mac. Uh, uh, with, um, that actually is not that bad a combo, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure Blake would shit on it if he was here, though, so we'll probably reassess that and I'll have a proper answer for you. Uh, the audio version of the Pokemon Pod is up. A video I gave to Blake. I don't know. Um, Good take. Yeah, and there's not much to see on the video anyway. It is an audio medium. So go and like us, follow us on um, that Spotify link. Or wherever you find your podcasts. We're on Google Play? Uh, yeah, Google. Oh, we should be on Amazon Music now as well. I, that option came up in the, the hosting in Hell the last yeah. couple of weeks. I've been contemplating doing Amazon Music because I'm already playing, paying for Amazon Prime. Yeah. And, like, it's considerably cheaper than Spotify. Yes. I also have Apple Music. Uh, no, uh, YouTube Music. Yes, he I haven't done that. So I have premium. He watches, yeah, he watches YouTube he watches with ads. The ads. Yeah. The fuck. It's a nice little break. I take a sip of my drink. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I'm very much a YouTube music man. This is the premium um, YouTube. I'll be real. I never realized how nice it would be to have YouTube premium until I had YouTube premium. I was now Look, I'm just I'm like, probably in the same boat, but I'm already paying YouTube. for so many things that I underutilize. Like, if like you, I've got a subscription I watch... to, I think it's calm which is like 70 dollars a year um, i'd do it maybe twice a year did you go to calm.com probably not do you use uh, promo code nolan tcg yeah why do you need to code nolan five check nolan five sorry i still need to produce that ad for the new sponsor um you do we have a new sponsor we can do that now well ben does <laughs> yeah i have a new sponsor i don't know i need to figure out how to promote it yeah memes oh we'll do a video and then we can do an ad I could get so the remaining one... three cards that I need from my deck to Europrint from Europe. True. Mm. But yeah, uh, news about his new sponsor will be coming soon. I was going to say, don't say the name of it. Because then people go to the website and they'll register and then yeah, yeah, makes, yeah. Ma- makes my thing completely yeah. useless. Well, um, yeah. So there is a new don't, sponsor coming. Yeah. So we'll, you'll hear about it soon. Don't buy any cards on the internet until this man tells you to. Yeah. Yes. Nolan5 is your code for everything. At some, oh, no, st- at some stage, we'll get a sponsor. I don't know when. Yeah. <laughs> This we're, podcast can be sponsored by it. We're, we're even trying to work me on this. NordVPN. Go to Nobbies. the description. We have a really niche angle of like trying to get the sponsors. It's like, no, only people who can give us underwear. Oh, uh, and also... Uh, step one, get me some. I really don't like step one. Do you not? Step fucking loves him. Nah, He's I'm He's more of the house. <laughs> I feel like they're designed for the larger gentleman. Yeah. Uh, they are, but the elastics are like... The elastics are terrible. Yeah, the elastic they are better than some other getting around, but they're not as good as the The ones that I have, they've all frayed between where the elastic ends and the underwear actually starts. Like I'll like, be real, it's been probably two years since I've like ninety percent of my underwear is Calvin Klein. Cause oh. if you go to the if you go to the fucking DFO, it's Cheap. It's not expensive underwear. I thought that was going. It's Good been point. two years since I've worn underwear. <laughs> Been out here free ball. Yeah. <laughs> These are just Calvin Klein tattoos. <laughs> yeah, I got the waistband <laughs> tattooed on me. Like those fucking TikToks. I went into a cafe with only my underwear on because they had someone paint their whole fucking body. Shut up. Fucking TikTok is stupid. Yeah, but and still go and it. find us. Yeah, go and find us on TikTok. What a way to start uh, TikTok. You can join us on this stupid platform. <laughs> fuck TikTok. It's so bad. It's just really cringe fucking Vine. There's still... There's still good mo- Like, There's good content anywhere. Oh, actually, yeah, back to you with the Amazon fine. Music. It'll Do it. show up on YouTube Reels <laughs> in four months. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, or Insta. In... It's all the same thing. Because this, this is the thing that I always found interesting with oh, TikTok. Short is like, YouTube. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So Oof. I was watching a thing the other day, I think it was on Instagram, of like people go to TikTok for the reach because it gets to a lot more people. But to actually make money, they have to go to like Instagram and Facebook. Yes. And then YouTube, I think, is like the. Oh, no, it's They've YouTube, just YouTube first. YouTube. Well, I think YouTube's like pushing for theirs to be the, the biggest. So oh, I tried. Like, tried to incentivize it as much as possible but it was like yeah 
Instagram and YouTube and Facebook are like where they actually make any money. The, um, I can't remember what it's called. It's like, it's like the creator fund or whatever it is for um, TikTok is so infinitesimally small that even with like 4 million views, they're making fuck all. Well, because it's not there to make money. It's there to harvest data for a certain state. <laughs> Fucking South Australia, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's neither here nor there um, but yeah Amazon Music if you're paying for Prime Prime's going up ditch one save your costs ditch your Spotify go to um, Amazon mm. Music because mm. I, I, I ditched Prime because I'm not going to do it and I, I just fucking pay for the Prime yeah. <laughs> yeah I was on I was on it for a little bit then I now we just we use Ben's Prime and we watch 5Ds I, I don't order Literally. enough from Amazon either I need to like yeah, I don't... have it in my head that like if I need random stuff that isn't like groceries and stuff, I should be going to Amazon first. Give Bezos money. Give Bezos money. Well, it just has so much stuff. And like half the time I'm doing all this <laughs> leg work. Let's be real. We're not an advertisement for Amazon here. They haven't sponsored this podcast. But this is all we talk of Amazon. Okay, we're done. Which if, means... if Bezos wants to be talked about on this podcast, he can sponsor this goddamn podcast. <laughs> Yeah, actually, that's a good point, because they're probably going to insert ads into the podcast on music, and we're not going to cut exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, let us know if there's ads on um, Amazon Music, because no one should have ads at the moment on the audio version, but I deemed it so. Bezos is taking your money. Taking our money. Yeah. But anyway, uh, that does conclude us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Um, as said, if you are listening to us, uh, feel free to favourite us on whichever... Uh, streaming service you're using if you're watching us on youtube please like and subscribe um ideally i want to get it up to a thousand uh subs pretty soon uh so if you're not already subscribed please do even if you don't watch us that much um jump into our discord ask us questions and we will catch you all next week wait 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 wait, wait. go to the discord uh i want to see sign of dragon deck lists pure sign of dragon deck lists no no hand traps no yeah other somebody's thing. someone sent me red dragon arch being done only Look to do oh someone sent us an ancient fairy dragon list that yeah, is just... going to be cooked Post lists in the Discord. Build your Cyber Dra- your Sign of Dragon deck. Uh, they're gonna be pure though. Like literally, this is only cards that say Blackwing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Send those to us in the Discord, and we will catch you all later. Peace. <laughs>